Good morning. First, I would like to thank for this uh, invitation to come here to present uh, some of the results that we have from this uh, study done at the Maputo Central Hospital. So, um, the, the study was about factors associated with mortality in HIV and non-HIV patients admitted to with severe sepsis in Maputo Central Hospital. Um, sepsis in resource-limited settings remains a significant cause of morbidity and mortality. A study done in Maputo Central Hospital by Mike Preziosi uh, showed a uh, mortality on 20% in patients that were admitted at the medicine wards at Maputo Central Hospital, and from them, 77% were HIV-positive patients. Um, conflicting data from resource-rich and poor areas have highlighted the limitation of protocol driving therapy, uh, raising the possibility of the, um, the protocol driving therapy did, didn't um, show any be benefits and survival when compared to resuscitation, uh, other resuscitation protocols. Uh, studies done in Europe and U.S. have shown, have found that the sepsis mortality is do, in those with, without and with HIV are now overlapping. But it can be different from re limited resource countries as Mozambique, as we still have patients that present to the clinical settings to the hospital with the uh, they are very immunosuppressed with lower CD4 counts, so maybe the results can be different from these countries. Uh, prospective studies on the impact of HIV in sepsis mortality um, in Mozambique and in other resource-limited countries are like, that's why, that's why one of our um, things that made us do this study. So this current study aims to determine the factors associated with sepsis mortality according to 2016 sepsis definition. Uh, we also aim to determine whether response to passive GLAD uh, press, uh, race, and subsequent fluid resuscitation impacts mortality rate in HIV-infected and non-infected patients. We compared those both groups. Finally, we aim to determine the impact of HIV on mortality in our sepsis court. This was a prospective observational study. The participants were HIV positive and negative adult patients who presented to, with severe sep sepsis to Maputo Central Hospital emergency service and were hospitalized from May from 2014 to May 2016. The patients were admitted to medicine rooms and also to the ICU. PLR was performed in non-intubated patients without a status to assess the post to, for possible fluid responsiveness defined as heart rate adjusted main arterial pressure on more than 10%. Um, we collected um, the clinical data, data during the first, first 24 hours. At admission time, six hours and 24 hours, and uh, uh, at the time of, during the hospitalization, at time of discharge, and 30 days post-discharge. Clinical data included HIV status. Some of the patients was, were previously diagnosed with HIV, and some of them were diagnosed in these at this time, CD4 counts, malaria tests, basic labs like CBC or chemistry, microbiology, radiology, as well as physical exam and demographic data. All the decisions were taken by the treating team. By the treating team, we were all collecting the data. All variables were analyzed by C by SPS and. P less than 005 was considered statistically significant. This is the emergency room, the entrance in Maputo, Central Hospital. So the inclusion, we included patients with um, 18 years or more with suspected infection according to the treating team. 
and two or more of the following signs, temperature uh, more than 38.3 or, or less than 36, heart rate more than 90, respiratory rate more than 20, leukocyte more than 12,000 or less than 4,000, and systolic blood pressure uh, lower than 100. And we are excluded patients with acute hemorrhage, acute stroke, and acute cardiac insufficiency. Um, regarding to the results, we have included 30, uh, 339 patients, and uh, the mortality rate was 30.6%. And of them, uh, we have 76 percent from all the total of patients who were HIV positive. You can see that these results are quite similar from the other study that was previously done at Maputo Central Hospital. Um, the fluid responsiveness of 10% change in heart rate that you said for MAP did not correlate with mortality. Even when analyzed for the recommended 30 milliliter per kilograms of fluid resuscitation, gender was also not associated with mortality. Um, absence of antibiotics within six hours was also not associated with mortality, and HIV status alone was not associated with mortality. Some other data that is important to say is that less than 1% of these patients were treated with antibiotics previous to they first presented to the hospital. Also, we only had three patients we didn't to tolerate the PLR, which means that less than 1%, and also, Less than 1% went to the ICU or went to, or used vasopressors or were intubated. And um, um, <clears throat> regarding to the fork of the infections by HIV status, um, we can say that most, we divide an HIV positive and HIV negative. And for HIV positive, um, the most important source of infection is, uh, was TB. The most important diagnosis of infection was TV, TB. Um, and uh, next was um, gastrointestinal infection or pulmonary, uh, some other form of, of non-TB like um, uh, pneumonia or bronchopneumonia, and also uh, central nervous system infection. For non-HIV uh, patients, uh, the principal was malaria, even in that time. Um, next by uh, um, pulmonary fog that there was no TB and gastrointestinal and other source of infection. Regarding to the uh, factors that were okay, um, associated with mal malaria, comparing the patients that died and pa were dead and patients that uh, uh, were alive. And the most important factors, uh, by the, all, all looking for all these for the, that have some significant difference, we can say the initial temperature, it is in uh, Celsius, um, initial oxygen saturation that was quite lower in, in patients that get that, and the uh, initial uh, Glasgow Coma Scale was a little bit lower, uh, neutrophils, lymphocytes, um, eosinophils, hemoglobin, platelets were a little bit lower, creatinine, which is in micromolis, was higher, um, um, urea was also higher, uh, glucose a little bit higher, and CD4 count, as we can see, was very low. Um, these things that show that um, the multi-organ dysfunction at the presentation were one of the most um, important factors that may be associated with the high mortality in this group. Regarding to CD4 count, we have to say that we had CD4 count result for 240 patients from the 262 patient HIV positive. Um, stratifying by CD4 count and in HIV positive patient um, 
subset, we can say that the mortality did not differ by gender in this HIV-positive patient, also did not uh, differ by the receipt of 30 milliliters per kilogram for, uh, fluid that is recommended during the first sex hours, nor reported the use of uh, IRVs amongst those patients with CD4 lower than 100 when in comparison with CD4 counter around uh, more than 100. Um, the mortality in individuals with CD4 count uh, lower than 100 was associated, incredibly associated with risk fluid responsiveness by 10% change in mean arterial pressure following passive leg raise. Was also associated with antibiotic giving within the six hours, um, which means that uh, um, the most imp maybe the most important for a factor that was associated with mortality in this patient was there were uh, severe immunosuppressed when they first presented to the hospital. Um, the mortality was also significantly associated with malaria infection in those with CD4 lower than 100. This is the logistic analysis for um, mortality in these patients with CD4, CD4 count under than um, 100. As we can say that antibiotics given in the first hours um, did not uh, um, uh, give like better results to these to these patients. Also, the urea was higher in this patient, and also the initial temperature was higher. So, our study reaffirms previous findings that fluid resuscitation may not be as critical to mortality in sepsis as previously told. One of the things that um, uh, that we saw in this study it was in all the patients that were admitted with sepsis diagnosis, only 30 of these patients have uh, had a blood culture um, asked by the, the, the treating team. And in from them, 22 were positive for mycobacteria tuberculosis or Klebsiella or E. coli. It means that maybe um, we have to increase the, the, and we actually we increase the asking for, for blood culture when the patients are admitted. Um, antibiotics given within six hours of admission with sepsis did not overcome in the high mortality rate in HIV infected um, individuals with advanced immunosuppression. That maybe the, this is the most important factor that raised the mortality in this patient. Um, this study highlights that in resource remit settings, in contrast to resource rich areas, the impact of HIV in sepsis remains an important risk factor for mortality. Thank you. Were there any questions for Dr. Shambo? Congratulations on an excellent study. Um, a couple of questions. Um, did you look at whether the HIV-infected patients were more or less likely to be admitted to the intensive care unit? They were I, less likely to be uh, intended at intensive care unit. And what, why um, is that? Um, there is some criteria for, for admit patients to intensive care unit in, in Maputo Central that we are trying to change in, the, in these last, last years. But most of the patient, HIV positive patients, they are really not admitted to, uh, to the ICU. Maybe if they have like a stroke or cardiac um, infarct, but with only sepsis or uh, other severe infection, they used to go to intermediary care at medicine, not exactly to the ICU. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then related to some laboratory abnormalities, I think you presented the percent neutrophil count, but did you look at what, whether neutropenia was a risk factor for mortality? If so, I didn't understand. The, the neutrophil counts, uh -huh. you presented percent neutrophils. But yes. 
I'm wondering about how many of these patients had absolute uh, uh, neutro neutropenia, less than 500 granulocytes. Okay, we can look for this data, but that we, have. We, we didn't analyze for, 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 for this presentation. Okay. Yeah. And the last thing is about corticosteroid use. How commonly did the patients receive? In patients with sepsis, yeah. we actually don't, um, don't use in, uh, at our hospital because of risk of severe immunosuppression in this patient with HIV. It's not uh, common, but we know that in some circumstances, corticosteroids can help, but it's not part of our guidelines. Okay, because thank you. Could you tell us a little more about how the tuberculosis was diagnosed and, you know, whether it was microbiologically by stain or culture, and uh, maybe a little more about the forms of uh, tuberculosis? Did it look to be disseminated, um, okay. familiar? Um, for tuberculosis diagnosis, we use, for pulmonary TB, we use the expert TB, we are now more using the expert TB for um, sputum, and but at the time we were still using like the stain. How do you call it? Zeal Nielsen, uh, Zeal Nielsen stain. We also do um, um, even for not only for sputum, but we use the expert for other uh, liquids like isides, pleural uh, fluid, and uh, we also do the culture. Also, uh, both in liquid and um, um, the the classic that is the solid um, solid and but some most of the patients they are clinically diagnosed it actually is uh, according to the x-ray because most of them they have lower CD4 count and they are palsy bacilliferous and we use like we have now our TB lab has many methods to diagnose TB and this is one of the most important cause of hospitalization in HIV positive in our hospital. Okay, thank you. Just for a clarification point, when you talk about antibiotics started within six hours, uh, I interpret that as broad spectrum antibiotics, not necessarily TB therapy. Is, is that correct? Yes, uh, we are talking about uh, other antibiotics other than TB. Both. Yeah, both. Sorry. Oh, so both uh, like broad spectrum antibiotics, but TB treatment also is included with that yes. in that group. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? It's not a question, but just a clarification for the question that Miley had. Um, the capacity of the hospital that the study was conducted in includes um, same-day results for uh, smear microscopy. So unlike maybe some other locations in Mozambique, they, uh, they would have the information about the smear results same day on admission. Any other questions? Okay, thank you, Dr. Shambaugh. 